What's going on today is uh, we've had uh, dissuasion points uh, at all accesses to Ganesadaga and Oka for the past uh, almost two months. And uh, we were assured uh, that the park would only have one entrance uh, today if they did open. Uh, we were suggesting, we were demanding that they postpone the opening at least until we get prepared for the eventual opening of our economy as well. And today we passed by and by our surprise, uh, both entrances to Oka, Oka Park were open. So uh, we said, okay, if you're going to lie to us like this, fine, we're going to come over here and we're going to stop the, the people from uh, infected areas from coming in this area. It's not to be mean or anything. As a matter of fact, I felt really bad telling a young mother and her two kids that she, please understand, please go back home. I didn't like doing it. Obviously, it must have come from the government. The Minister of Indian Affairs, uh, Quebec, yesterday, uh, Sylvie Damour, I spoke with her. Sylvie's usually uh, pretty understanding. I have a pretty good relationship with her. She uh, said she had sent the, the chiefs of Quebec a general letter uh, some time back that the eventual reopening of parks. Uh, but I told the minister that is not a consultation. Uh, you have a constitutional responsibility and you did not exercise it. You didn't respect it. So here we are today, again, trying to fight for the, uh, the health security of our community and those of the, the entire region. I'd say a large majority, uh, they pass by our uh, dissuasion points and they thank us. Some call our actions illegal, but uh, we have a historical and a moral right, a justification for doing what we're doing. If you look at what decimated uh, First Nation populations in, uh, in the Americas, it was the virus. Uh, smallpox, rubella, tuberculosis, Spanish flu. Uh, we all suffered high losses during those times. So we were almost extinguished just by the virus. News for the mayor from uh, Oka, they said, the park is open, welcome to everyone, no matter where you come from. So we can go in the park and have a hiking or a bicycle. And now I just find out, they just arrived, my car is parked uh, on the side there. And I see those people, they close the line. I mean, that park belongs to everybody, not to the, uh, the more people. They have the right, those people, I respect their right, but they have to respect our right too. The way it's doing now is very awful. So uh, they don't have the population on the, the side with those people there. That's going to be bad for them again, but government don't want to use nothing to save the situation. So what's going to happen to us? I don't know.